procedure that booklet. If required, I then open the appropriate side of the electrical system and you can see the words engine generator off light on. That's the case here and we would calmly work through the set procedure together in order to overcome the fault. In the meantime, it is almost midnight, Frankfurt time. We're flying over Siberia. Below us is the largest coal deposit on Earth. More than half of the route now lies behind us. Less than 10 minutes later and it's light again in the cockpit. As we are flying against the sun, sunrise takes place very quickly. In summer it never really gets dark on the route at all, even if the flight goes through the night. That's because the route goes over relatively northern latitudes. In the 20 or so years that our DC-10 Essen has been in service with Lufthansa, it has spent more than 85,000 hours in the air and has flown more than 30 million miles. The 85,000 flying hours is also the original expected life of the aircraft, although experience gained over years of operating the type allowed this to be increased to 120,000 hours. Wurde diese Zeit von der Zulassungsbehörde inzwischen jedoch auf 120.000 Stunden heraufgesetzt. Nach all den Jahren ist es kein Wunder. After all these years, it's not surprising if the instruments in the DC-10 cockpit, for example the weather radar, seem rather antiquated compared to modern glass cockpits. With the introduction of the DC-10, the workloads in the cockpit effectively changed. Just one example of this was the ability to carry out landings with almost no visibility. This technical progress has brought about a different kind of teamwork within the cockpit crew. Teamwork is somewhat different from individual work with regard to overall quality. Previously, the man in the left seat did everything and the decision-making process came from him alone. A small group of highly qualified colleagues usually brings a synergistic effect. In order to make use of that, a crew coordination concept was established, which divided the workload and assigned various clearly defined areas of responsibility. These procedures then had to be standardized and published and the DC-10 was the first to introduce and achieve that. Today, well, it's the norm. In Germany, it's quarter past midnight when we fly over Mongolia on our way to Peking. The radio beacons are very sparse here and before long we're relying on our own onboard facilities to navigate correctly. 
Und das machen wir mit dem Trägheitsnavigation. We do that with the internal navigation system, which leads us over waypoints. These waypoints are described by their coordinates, as, for example, this one at Darno. In this way, this point does not have to be marked additionally with a radio beacon. Let's take a final look at archive footage of this remarkable aircraft. In the DC-10, it's possible to house the kitchen installations in the underfloor area. Generally, charter operators fly it in this way. And what is more, there is the facility originally introduced by Lufthansa for carrying freight containers in the rear part of the cabin, for those routes where there's a high proportion of cargo and the passenger quota does not have to be totally filled völlig ausgenutzt werden muss. Seit langen Jahren ist das eine reine Passagierversion. For many years it's been a purely passenger version. Today on this flight to Peking we have 80% passenger load factor. But nevertheless, we're also carrying just over 9 tons of cargo and we are carrying 700 kilograms of mail on this flight. And that also earns money for the airline. It's 9.20 a.m. local time. For 15 minutes we've been in Chinese airspace and now find ourselves over the mountains northwest of Peking. Here we leave our cruising altitude and begin our descent. The weather in Peking is foggy, typical meteorological conditions for this time of year. This isn't a problem for us though, because Peking Airport has the technical installations necessary for a so-called Category 1 approach. The required minimum visibility of 800 meters and a cloud base above 60 meters is present today.